The cruel suffering of the recent depression has taught all of us unforgettable lessons. FDR believed aiding America's farmers was crucial to ending the Great Depression. In 1933, more than one in five workers were farmers. 90% of those farmers lived without electricity. They had been struggling through hard times since the 1920s when crop prices dropped sharply and were ignored by private power companies who could not make a profit wiring rural areas. Their days were filled with time-consuming manual labor. Their nights were passed in darkened homes. In rural America, the Depression turned hard times into crisis times. Roosevelt's farm program aimed to rescue indebted farmers and increase their income. Farmers could then buy products produced in the nation's cities, aiding economic recovery there. The centerpiece of the program was the Agricultural Adjustment Administration, or the AAA. The AAA sought to raise farmers' income by increasing crop prices. To do this, the government paid farmers to cut production by reducing livestock herds and leaving some fields unplanted. In addition, FDR included credit legislation in his farm program. The Emergency Farm Mortgage Act refinanced farm loans at lower interest rates and on easier terms. The Farm Credit Act established local credit institutions for farmers to improve their access to capital. These programs greatly relieved rural suffering by getting badly needed cash into the hands of farmers. By the end of 1933, farm prices had nearly doubled. By 1934, over 3 million farmers were participating in the programs. The Tennessee Valley Authority, or the TVA, put thousands of people to work building dams and public power plants in the giant Tennessee River Valley. The TVA controlled flooding, improved agriculture, and developed industry in the valley. It sparked economic growth and improved living standards in a region touching eight states. Today, the TVA is America's largest public power producer. Rural electrification transformed farm life with pumps to supply running water, refrigerators, washing machines, and other labor-saving devices. Collectively, these measures kept thousands of farmers from losing their lands and set precedents that continue today. Thanks to the hard work and know-how of America's farmers, the best in the world, we've had the strongest stretch of farm exports in our history.